trying to look at the concept of what atrial tachycardia. Now, before you look at this, you have to actually know what, what tachycardia is. Tachycardia is what? 60 beat per minute. So, okay, sorry. The normal heartbeat. 60 beat per minute to what? 100 beats per minute. Now, if you're having anything above 100 beats per minute, that's what we call tachycardia. Now, if I say atrial tachycardia, what it simply means here, yeah, the heartbeat is above the normal, but the problem is from the atrium. Okay, so that's what atrial tachycardia simply means. So we'll talk about this con uh, this uh, concept from definition. We'll talk about the types, talk about the causes, the symptoms, the diagnosis, and possible treatments for this. Atrial tachycardia is a type of what supraventricular tachycardia. It's characterized by what there's a rapid heart rate, and the problem is originating from the atrium. All right. Now the atrium has what? It's an atrial node and the AV node. So it could be that what? Right from these uh, nodes, the problem actually originated from there. So you're having a heart rate that is above 100 beats, and you're having a heart rate between 100 beats to about 250 beats per minute. The atrial rate, if you take the atrial rate, it should also be 100 to about 250 beats per minute. Ventricular rate is actually what? Variable. And it's depending on how the AV node is conducting. Types. We have the paroxysmal atrial tachycardia. This one is a um, sudden onset, short duration. We have the persistent atrial tachycardia. It's long lasting, may require medical intervention. They have the what atri atrial reentrant tachycardia. This one is occurring within the atrial tissues. Okay. Causes could be due to electro electrolyte imbalance, could be due to hypertension, could be due to coronary artery disease, could be due to cardiomyopathy, could be due to what valve disorders, could be due to some medications that the patient is currently taking, could be due to sleep apnea. So when you see a patient with any of these conditions, you try to ask this type of questions. So you are trying to like so that you can be able to now what find out the possible cause for that. Symptoms. The patient will be having palpitations, their heart will be beating, and they will be aware that their heart is beating. There will be shortness of breath, there will be chest pains, there will be dizziness, there will be lightheadedness and fainting. Okay. Diagnosis. Electrocardiogram. Halter monitoring. Event monitoring. Echocardiogram. Cardiac catheterizations. All of this may be handy. Right? Treatment. Vagal maneuvers. Okay, that's Vasava maneuvers, antiarrhythmic medications, cardioversions, catheter ablation, pacemaker implantation. Complications, this could result in stroke, heart failure, cardiac arrest, and sudden cardiac death. Alright, so that's it for atrial tachycardia.